Welcome once again to the Global Monastery. As we come to the last week of the year, our theme is Endings and Beginnings, significantly, the mystery of Endings and Beginnings. Please listen as I read Psalm 139, verses 1 through 6. O oh Lord, you've searched me and known me. You know when I sit down, when I rise up. You understand my thought from afar. You scrutinize my path and my lying down and are intimately acquainted with all my ways. Even before there's a word on my tongue, behold, O oh Lord, do you know it? You've enclosed me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too high. I cannot attain to it. We're coming to the end of 2020 and many of you will say, thank God. What a year, lots of change. Most of it in many of our lives, unanticipated. For most of us, much of that which was unanticipated, also unpleasant. None of us would choose uh, a pandemic. None of us would choose political polarization. None of us would choose uh, suffering and loss and health challenges. None of us would choose economic hardship. And yet these have been some of the hallmarks of the year that is 2020. What is God saying through such times as we bring 2020 to an end? Well, you know, a favorite uh, little exercise that I sometimes show to students when I teach about the sovereignty of God is if you can imagine a gym floor filled with mouse traps and on every mouse trap two ping pong balls and then you throw one ball into the mix and what what happens so magnificently is one releases two two release four four release eight pretty soon there's ping pong balls flying all over the place and it all comes down to silence certainly 2020 has felt a little bit that way the ball of COVID has been tossed into the cosmos that is the planet Earth. And there have been reactions which then become themselves causes of other reactions, which become causes of other reactions. And it's easy in such a time to have a sense of despair. As someone who's lived a few years now, I want to give you a word of hope. God is never beyond control of the circumstances. Doesn't mean God is creating every circumstance. It means this, in every circumstance, God has a purpose that is redemptive. God can use everything that happens in our lives, including all that has happened in 2020, to make us look more like Jesus. This is the true meaning of Romans 8, 28 and 29. God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, but the good is defined for us as us becoming more like Jesus. Lots of things have been dropped onto the floor and there've been lots of reactions this year and it's been a difficult year, but God has been in it. And now we turn the page and a new year awaits. And our hope in the new year is not a hope for a placid year. Our hope biblically defined as confident expectation is that whatever happens in 2021, God will be able to use the circumstances that are yet ahead of us to shape us as people of hope. May we live with that confidence as this year closes out and as we move into 2021. Please pray with me. Father, I'd like to thank you that you are the blessed controller of every circumstance. It's not that you make the circumstance, it's that you intervene into the circumstances of this fallen world. The virus, the economic uncertainty, the, the systemic racism that has ravaged us, the political polarization, we don't welcome any of these, but we welcome how you can use them redemptively. And may you use them redemptively, Father, to shape us to be more like you. And whatever comes to us in 2021, the glory and the hardship, the laughter and the tears, the health and the sickness, use it for your purposes. We pray in Christ's name, who is our hope. Amen. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in 2021.